So this is actually huge for Valorant. This is huge. You can now get paid by Valorant. That's right. Now you will need some expertise, right? But you can pay, get paid $100,000. So watch the video until the end and I'll explain you how. Now a message about Vanguard from our privacy and security teams um, posted yesterday, so about today when I woke up. So we're Chris Himes, Data Protection Officer and Chief Information Security Officer. So personally, I'm going to a cybersecurity school. So this article is very interesting to me. And a little background on Riot Security. So we're gonna start off with details and then I'm gonna explain how you can actually get money from Valorant. Um, and a few years ago, we wrote about how security has evolved at Riot. We describe approach as being the guardian of Riot's player-focused culture, feedback-driven and audience-focused, and centered around providing options, not roadblocks. And this is true in 2020 as it was in 2017. The anti-cheat team made sure Vanguard was decided with our security and data privacy teams coordinating closely at every stage of development. So we understand the run the driver component in kernel mode can raise concerns. So they basically know it will create some drama, but they're gonna go more in detail. And some of you wanna know about the tech behind Vanguard. We can't go that deep into technical specifications without potentially compromising Vanguard, which of course they don't tell, of course, because in that way, if they actually tell um, their security vulnerabilities or anything about you know the anti-cheat, they could potentially get their system hacked. But we'll go as far as safely we can below, plus we can assure you that it has been reviewed by both internal and external security experts. So what they did is um, they have a huge team at, you know, Riot basically looking in for the security, right? And these guys are getting a lot of money. Um, and they also sent it to other companies that, you know, look it through. And I probably they spent millions and millions and millions of dollars on this one security thing. Because Valorant has really, um, the base of the game is their anti-cheat and uh, some other features. So this game is basically like CSGO and Overwatch, but improved like three times better. And I played it today and I have to say that is true. Now the bottom line is we would never let Riot ship anything if we weren't confident if 3 player privacy and security with extreme seriousness they deserve. With that in mind, let's look at the philosophy for Vanguard and fundamentals of its architecture. So Riot Vanguard philosophy is um, Riot's committed to achieving the highest competitive integrity in our games. So they, they want to say, fuck hackers, we don't want hackers. We want you to play in a world where you never doubt your abilities or your opponents, which I definitely think is true. Um, what I have to say is uh, battle against cheats is constantly evolving and we're always working on a better way of accomplishing our goals. So, you know, they're, they're pretty much committed to this. Um, now they, they made a statement, a more more detailed statement. There's a lot more into there. Um, so if the anti-cheat software is run in user mode, its capabilities would be compromised by a cheat running at higher privilege level. So I can definitely agree. If you look at CS:GO, the, um, this has been actually happening a lot. Um, there's been like hackers that just put in the USB with a higher you know privilege level. And CSGO is ruined that way. You launch CSGO and you have nothing to play at all. Nothing. Your whole day is ruined because there are hackers out there in the game. So Riot is definitely looking into fixing that, which I definitely could agree with. So Vanguard does not collect or process any personal information beyond the current League of Legends anti-cheat solution does. Riot does not want you to know more about you or your machine, what is necessary to maintain high credibility in your game. The game that we collect is used for operation of the game. Okay, so I guess we could believe this here. What I'm really worried is the game, the thing gets hacked, okay? So there's this huge issue that this game could actually have some sort, you know, that the security could also always have some sort of flaws. I'm not saying they didn't really look into it, but there's still a huge red flag for this. Now, they're pretty sure in their like the anti-hacking thing, so, so they probably won't actually get compromised, right? So Vanguard consists of three components, the client, driver, and platform. So the client, which user mode, handles all of the anti-cheats detections while a game is running. Now the client needs to communicate with the platform to receive detections in order for a player to be able to play. So, okay, client, driver, and the platform. And the client does not consider a machine trusted unless it recognizes the driver. Untrusted machines cannot play Valorant. 
So at first um, I had a few videos on how I was not trusting the Valorant any client and after you're playing the game I have to say it's awesome and I don't even care if a Chinese mob comes to my house and tries to kill me because I'm still gonna be playing the game. Like no way. This game is so freaking good. It's like everything CSGO was missing and everything Overwatch didn't have or had like such an important team play that if you had one bad uh, support you would lose the fucking game and then you know just die um, in a basement or something this game is everything that the games hadn't had and what made them not fun so um, this is one of the huge games. So what's next? Okay, the play the part you haven't been waiting for So what's next the power of our commitment to player security and privacy? We've been running a bug bounty program on hacker one for the past six years We have rewarded security researchers with almost two million dollars in bounties. You know how much is two million dollars? That's a lot and our scope includes everything that player interacts with Today, we are announcing that we're creating a special scope for Vanguard vulnerabilities with even higher bounties. So that's how much they're sure in their system that they're creating even bounties, you know, saying to white hack hackers, um, you can hack this, but you're not going to make it. So we want players to continue to play with our games with the peace of mind and we're putting our money where our mouth is. So just to pack it up, they're putting shit ton of money to actually prove that it can be hacked. So if you think you found a flaw in Vanguard that would you undermine the security and privacy of players, please submit a report right away and you may be eligible for a big bounty payout. Now I'm going to show you how much these big bounty payouts are. We've never let Riot ship something we can't stand behind the player trust perspective. Not that we think Riot would ever try. And players have every right to question and challenge us, but let's be clear. We wouldn't work here if we didn't deeply care about player trust and privacy and believe Riot feels the same way. So we're the players just like you and we will install our programs on a computer that didn't have utmost confidence in. So please keep holding us accountable for protecting both the competitive integrity of your games and personal privacy. So after a huge backlash that some people basically made on you know, PC gamers or whatever. Um, this is huge. Look at this. Um, so, people are huge. Like, Valve paid out 1 million since starting their bounty program in 2017. Look at this. They paid 2 million. Now, this is like network attack with no user interaction. Okay, just give me a sec. Here's, here, I'm gonna just gonna zoom in. So, network attack with no user interaction. So, code execution on kernel level is 100,000. That's enough to buy a house. 100,000 to find a simple bug, which is not that simple. So unauthorized access to sensitive data, such as, you know, game files or something, something that shouldn't be found at all, is 75,000. 75, if you find something that could basically mean that you could, um, you know, go into another player's PC, you will get 100,000 for fixing that bounty. So network attack requiring user interaction, one click. Code execution on kernel level, 75,000. So um, uh, this basically means if a person clicks on something, for example, um, let's say you're hacking someone and he can gain access by one click um, from another user, they will get 75,000, 50,000. Local attack for privilege escalation. Now this is already 25,000 with uh, unauthorized access to sensitive data. So if you get like some someone's uh, data, this is just too big. This is too big. Like 25,000, that's how sure they are. And they have a lot of money to actually spend on this. And I don't think they will, you know, lower these. If so, they will increase. And I'm definitely sure some people will be getting for money, a lot of money from this. Um, and this is huge if you're actually, you know, some sort of a hacker or a programmer or a white hat lister, because this will get you a lot of money. Like 100,000 in Slovenia is enough to buy you a good house, a good apartment in the center of the city. Well, not in the center of the city, but still get the whole idea of this. So there has been some comments. Do you think the bounty is worth for keeping silent and use it for insidious ways? Yes, if you actually find a loophole that big and can cash out 100k, you would take it. If you instead plan to do something with it, you're already traveling on illegal waters so you can get your ass fucked by Lauren. The potential payout would have to be multiple times the 100k for you to take that risk. So it would have to be something like, um, 
you could go to jail. Like Riot would probably deport you to China and you would get like 20 years in jail. Um, this would only be worth it for actually getting it like to over 1 million of profit to not revealing this hack. And be sure to subscribe for more Valent content. This is Fatman, sign out. Peace guys.